Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll be taking a look at comments in HTML. We'll see what comments are and how they are useful while working on the front end of a web page. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Till now, we came across certain types of tags in HTML. We have a good idea of how and when to use any particular tag while working with HTML. Now, let's imagine a situation where we are working on the front end of any web page which contains more than a thousand lines of code. We are almost finished with the front end but suddenly we realize that we made an error somewhere previously or we want to change a particular piece of code let's say. In that case, we can't go back checking each line to find that particular piece of code, right? That's where comments can help us and save our time. A comment is common for almost all programming languages. The syntax may differ in different languages, but the usage remains the same. It is a line in programming that does not affect the output of the program. It stays there in the code, but does not affect the output by any means. In HTML, the way of writing a comment is quite simple. We have been working with tags for some time now. The syntax for comments also remains similar to them. All we have to do is we have to write here, like we want to add a comment here, let's say. So what we have to do is we have to put an exclamation mark and then we have to put this. Now this is the syntax for comments in HTML. Now whatever thing we'll write inside it will be treated as a comment. Fine. So one thing to notice here is that there is an exclamation mark at the start of every comment we use but not at the end. Fine. Just keep this thing in mind and we are good to go with comments in HTML. Let's save our program and you can see there is no change in the browser. So for your convenience what we are going to do is we are going to add a paragraph over here. So let's say we are writing over here we are going through comments in HTML. Let's save the program and you can see that particular paragraph in the browser. So the comment won't affect the outcome of any program by any means, fine. Another use of comments is they can be used to hide content. Now hiding content means we can temporarily hide any tag from the HTML document according to our needs. So let's say we have an image over here and we want to see if the web page will look good with the image or without it. So let's add an image first. What we'll do is We'll write after this paragraph tag img. Let's say the source is inside images. We have html.png. This is the image. Then we'll write here alternate. Alternate will be let's say html. Now save the program and you can see the image over here but it's quite large. So let's fix this first. We are going to write here height and width. So we are using attributes basically. So we'll write your width, width is going to be 250 pixels again, save the program and here you can see we have a image, fine. Now to remove this image temporarily, what we have to do is we have to put this whole image tag inside the comment. What we'll do is we'll write over here the syntax for comment. Now this is the comment. What we'll do is we'll copy this image tag, we'll cut it from here and we'll paste it inside this comment, fine. Now save the program and the image is temporarily removed from the browser, right? Simple and easy. Now a comment can be a single line comment or a multi line comment, no change in the syntax for that. Anything we put inside these tags will be taken as a comment by the browser. So what we are trying to say here is comments are very useful in programming. It's just a note for the programmer to remember what they did at that particular part of the program. Or we can simply say with comments, we can place notifications and reminders in a HTML code. I hope you guys understood. So that's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we'll go through images in HTML. If you enjoyed watching this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments. Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Simply cool. Thank you.